G'day everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up multiple profiles on the Taylor Drift Outcast script. Having multiple profiles set up allows you to choose different anti-recoil values for primary and secondary weapons. This script also has a Warzone profile which allows you to have a third anti-recoil set up and a lot of people use this for ground loot. First of all, let me show you what it's like without having the profile set up. So you can see here that I'm on, if I back out, you can see I'm on the primary profile. Once I change my weapons in the game, it stays on that primary profile, all right? Nothing changes. So to make that change when we change our weapons, what we want to do is enter the menu and navigate our way to the profiles part of the script which you can see here we enter that profiles part of the script and we come to the profile button now you can see it says press button and all we need to do is hold the button on the controller that you want to be your profile button all right so i want that to be triangle slash y so i'm going to hold that button and there we go it's been chosen after this we move over using the d-pad just move over to the right and we come to the resync button with this one i'm going to go with l2 slash lt so i simply hold that trigger and it's now been selected we move over to the next one which is the warzone profile i mentioned before with this one we need to choose two buttons all right so it's very easy to do for the first one i'm going to go with l2 slash lt so i hold that i then press down on the d-pad so it goes down to the second line there and i simply hold the second button so i want that to be d-pad up I hold up on the D-pad and that's now chosen. So I can back out of the menu now so that saves. There we go, that's been saved. So you can now see that it says primary, but when I change my weapons, it now changes to that secondary profile. If we change back to the primary weapon, it changes back to the primary profile. Now, sometimes things get a little bit mixed up. You can see here I've got it on secondary, but I've got the primary weapon chosen. Now what happens when I change my weapon, it changes to the primary profile, but I have my secondary weapon now. So this is where the racing buttons come into it. And if we remember for the racing button, I chose L2 slash LT. So if you've chosen that too, all you need to do is hold l2 slash lt and then press triangle slash y if you chose something other than l2 slash lt you need to hold that button and press triangle y all right now i've got an akimbo weapon here so it's going to shoot but you will see that when i hold the trigger and press y it's going to change on the zen but it's not going to change in the game all right here we go there we go so it's changed back to the secondary profile now on the script but i've still got my secondary weapons chosen in the game now when i change in the game everything's back to normal primary weapon primary profile Secondary weapon, secondary profile. So that's what the resync's for. It's just whatever button you've chosen. So I'll go back in here and show you. Go back to resync. It's whatever button you've chosen here. You need to hold that and press triangle slash Y and that will resync your profiles. Now, after that, we've got the Warzone profile. And to get into that one, I chose L2 slash LT and D-pad up. So I'm going to hold that and I'm going to press up. And there we go. And that changes to the Warzone profile. So that's the third profile there. A lot of people have that set up for ground loot. And then when you want to change back to your primary slash secondary profiles again, you just press the same Warzone profile button. So I had L2 slash D-pad up. That goes into the Warzone profile and it also goes out of the Warzone profile. And that's when I can go back to the primary slash secondary. Once you're in the Warzone profile, you can change weapons as much as you like. It'll stay on the Warzone profile which is why a lot of people use it for ground loot. You run over to your loadout, you get your loadout weapons or whatever, and then you press your uh, Warzone loadout button again, and there you go, you've got it set up for your loadout weapons. Now, another thing in the profile part of the script you'll see is the weapon name. Okay, now this doesn't change anything except for the name that you see at the front of the script, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. Once I back out, you'll see it says Assault R Primary, and when I change, it says SMG secondary, all right? So this is, it doesn't change anything besides those letters right there on the screen. It's not going to affect anti-recall or anything like that, all right? Now, what this is for, it's for, say, for example, if your primary weapon is uh, an AR and your secondary weapon is an SMG, you can have it set up like that just so you can look at the screen and see it says assault rifle or it says SMG rather than looking at profile one or two or whatever, you know, it makes it a bit easier. So for me on this particular loader, I've got an SMG as my primary and I've got some pistols as my secondary, right? So what I could do is I could go into the menu here, go to profiles, go to the weapon name. I could change the primary one to SMG, just like that. You can also change profiles while you're in the menu here, okay? If you just press your profile button while you're in the menu, it will change to the secondary profile while you're in the menu, okay? So you can see there it says weapon name secondary. I can go through and find pistols. If it's here somewhere, I'm sure it is. I'm pretty sure, maybe not. I'm sure I've seen it. Did I go past it? Ground loot, assault rifle, SMG, LMG, sniper, semi-auto, rifle... All right, all right, there's no pistol there, so I'll just put semi-auto rifle. That'll do. It's good enough. It's running out. Back out so that saves. You get the point either way. So now you can see SMG there for primary. Once I change it to the secondary profile, it says semi-auto R, whatever else you want to set it up for. But that's all the weapon names for. That's everything I needed to go through for the video. If you have any questions about this at all, feel free to ask those down in the comments. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you next time.